Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. Uh, today I'm going to take you through English form 2, lesson 1. I'm your tutor, Filari Stirit. Our topic today will be on grammar and we're going to look at pronouns. So I expect you as a student by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to have achieved something. And so by the end of the lesson, as a learner, you'll be able to define a pronoun. State the different categories of pronouns, identify and explain how personal pronouns indicate number and person. And so we'll begin with definition of a pronoun and the categories of a pronoun. We can say a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun. The noun that is replaced by a pronoun is referred to an antecedent. The noun that is replaced by a pronoun is referred to an, an antecedent. Uh, Pronouns have the following function. They function as subject, they function as object, as well as they also indicate ownership. Those are the three functions of pronouns. And we have categories of pronouns. Those are the types of pronouns. We have the personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, relative pronouns, reflexive pronouns, emphatic pronouns, demonstrative pronouns. And so we're going to look at each. When we begin with the reflexive pronouns, you can say these are pronouns which refer back to the subject of a sentence. Example, they really love themselves. The word themselves is an example of a reflexive pronoun. Even myself, himself, those are examples of reflexive pronoun. When we talk also of emphatic pronouns, they're the ones which emphasize on something. Example, she bought the book herself. Herself is an emphatic pronoun. Uh, when we talk of relative pronoun, we can say a relative pronoun is a pronoun used to refer to nouns mentioned earlier. Example, this is the boy who won the race. When we talk of the word who, it refers to a person or a noun which has been mentioned earlier. Uh -huh. We can look at the next one, which is a demonstrative pronoun, and we can read, we can say demonstrative pronouns are the ones used to point out to something specific within a sentence. Demonstrate, from the word demonstrate. This is a book. That is a boy. Uh, that is a chair. This, it tends to point. This one, that one, those ones. In there. <clears throat> We also have the personal pronouns, which are a type of pronoun that mainly refer to persons. Personal pronouns can indicate number or person, or sorry, or person. Personal pronouns indicate number or person. When you look at number and pronouns, uh, the number of pronouns refers to whether a pronoun is in its singular or plural. We can also say the pronouns which are used when referring to a person animal or a thing are said to be in singular in number and when they refer to more than one person a thing or animal we say they are in plural in number examples of singular and plural nouns we can have the pronouns in a singular form such as i me he she it him are or you whereas in their plural form we can have them as we as they, them, and you. And what we notice about the two is that you appears both in its singular pronoun as you and in its plural pronouns as you. Now, can we look at person in pronoun? We have three types of person in pronoun. That's the first person, the second person, and the third person. When we talk of the first person, this is a person speaking or writing. For instance, in this case, I am the first person. So the pronoun I will be used to refer to me who is teaching you as a learner. So we have those words that are used with the first person pronoun that those include words such as I, me, we, us, and our. I and me is in its singular form. We, us, and our are in its plural form. You can read an example. We can have the examples. Uh, I'm reading a novel. I is in his first person plural. Please give us a drink. First person singular is I, sorry. Please give us a drink. As in his, in his plural form, but he talks. The person speaking are in their first person form. 
the message was directed to me. When you look at the second person, this refers to the person who is spoken to or listening. In this case, I, the teacher, is in. I mean, I, the teacher, is in the first person. You, the the listener or the learner or the student who is listening, is in the second person. And we have those pronouns used to refer to second person, such as you. You are and you are. For example, you are my neighbor. You are my student. You are my listener. Um, those books are yours. Yours is used to refer to second person. Can you look at third person? It refers to the person or a thing being spoken about. Example include of that person or examples of what representing third person includes he, him, his, uh, he, his, him, she, her, has, it, its. They, they are them, theirs. She comes to school early. She is a third person. So this is the person being spoken, spoken about or, or the person being talked of or talked about in a conversation. The girls are looking for her now. Her is in its third person. We can see the personal pronouns are both, are both in their singular and plural form. I to me, we, me to us, my to our, mine to ours. The personal pronoun second person you does not change. It appears both in it first part in its second person and its third person. You to you, you are to you are, you as to you as. Uh, personal pronoun him, he, he, him, and his are masculine. They refer to they are being referred to the male gender. She, he has fe a feminine refer being referred to the feminine or the female gender. It, it is neuter. That means it's not, can, it cannot appear in its masculine or feminine form. And their plural are as follows. They, them, their, and theirs. Uh, you can attempt the assignment. Use the correct pronoun to answer the questions as posted. Uh, for much on this on pronoun, you can refer them to Excelling in English, Students Book 2, Second Edition, published by the Kenya Literature Bureau, you can also reach us for more questions or clarifications on our SMS line as posted on YouTube Elimu TV, Facebook Elimu TV, Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you very much. Till next time.